So hello everybody. This is a beautiful moment to show you around at Lugar da Terra. Our little one acre, half a hectare property, one hour north of Lisbon, near the coast. And uh, we just had some rain. This is our tunnel where we start up all our seedlings. And I'm going to show you something about our uh, water system. We are having for five years this land and we are working this year for the first time on our uh, plantations and all our tree plantings. We have done some trials but now it's for sure going to happen this year. We're going to finally use the water that we've been storing all this time. Uh, we have built some earthwork, with earthworks we have done several ponds and swales and um, yeah I'm going to show you around, hopefully you can get a bit of a good idea of what I'm talking about and how everything works. So I'm specifically going to focus on the water and maybe you will also find some interest in uh, seeing how we did these plantations but I cannot really go into detail on everything because then we get too long into this video. So this is the base of the property where we are seeing a, a pond which is quite full at the moment. It's not overflowing yet but it might still this year. It has been overflowing already this year but basically this is um, the expression of all the water that's caught on this one acre property we have that goes all the way up there and um, you can see here some plantation of, a plantation of chart which was direct seeded and marvelously everything came up and goes fine we did some pumpkins recently here which um, are hopefully going to be happy with all the water that's underground this is a uh, bottle that's connect to the tube the bottle makes it float so it doesn't uh, touch the bottom and again the pump doesn't get clogged up with the soil on the base so this will go up with our pump system all the way to the tanks on the top which then gravity feed down onto all kind of growing beds we are having on the land now we are working with all kind of different principles we're for example, here using uh, cevada, this is a grass, this could be Sudan grass in summer, in winter you can use rye grass to bioaccumulate a lot of organic matter, which is then being chopped and dropped all the time. I have been chopping and dropping several things here already. Um, you can see the brown material on the base. And uh, this obviously is going to store a lot of water on the topsoil give nutrition and make a very nice um, yeah local compost pro production basically now here we are at the overflow of the lake above the pond we have above and this is slowly filling this nice area here now I'm gonna take a look if I get there everything is a little slippery so it can turn into a very funny video but I think I'm getting there so here we have a grow bed again which is also a swill and at the same time water that is running through here goes to the pond down so it's being caught into these underground gutters as it were because we're using uh, only there a little bit of plastic so from the greenhouse all the water uh, runs in grow beds but the grow beds have a little plastic under it with stones sand and then soil quite a lot of compost and 
the water from the greenhouse roof runs through that along the greenhouse and comes into this gutter runs down overflows and fills that pond as well beside that we have here uh, our pond which is overflowing very little at the moment because I'm pumping from it and that you can see here is the overflow this pond is the first one we built and uh, it's pretty uh, wild already you can see there's a lot of aquatic life there's turtles snakes frogs all kind of dragonflies and beautiful animals we're growing uh, broad beans on the side here so these are grow beds and as the water retreats by pumping or just by evaporation we make other grow beds next to it and that can actually happen on this shady side as well so there's a lot to explore there in the future when these ponds are becoming uh, yeah really uh, used for plantations as well this is a nice example of um, a very passive overflow you can see here a swale which I will show you later but this water is pretty clean as you can see running over the over the land there's not much erosion here you can see and it's a lot of water just slowly infiltrating in the landscape filling the aquifers below but also our ponds and uh, therefore our potential water storage on the top which is obviously very nice in the midsummer when it's super dry so i'm going here over this uh, spillway as it were walking in the soil you can see it's not so deep and uh, i will just after this video start with the plantation of uh, artichokes on top of the the hill it's a little hill here so we have carved out soil here put it there with the earthwork and then we make a nice plantation of artichokes now before we get there I'm getting wet boots now um, I'll show you the other pond that's above here so besides all these ponds you can see this one also running and overflowing besides all these ponds we have this beautiful little bit of pine forest which is also catching a lot of water obviously and then it runs down below the hammocks there to an edge which also is aligned towards that pond I showed you in the beginning at the base of the property so basically every square meter of the land as well as the top is being directed towards this pond at the end so obviously we're not making it run as fast as possible we're making it run as slow as possible so there's these little moments where things overflow you can see here as well and they are potential spots for planting nice things um, here we have our dome for our volunteers and this is one of the grow beds in front some potato coming up in reddish who knows what and then a pond which is always full of water even in midwinter which is amazing so this is the dam wall you're seeing here it's all constructed by earthworking machines everything you see here which is water catchment systems is made uh, uh, doing earthworks with a, a big machine so that was quite a time and money investment in the beginning well we could do it quite uh, for a quite good price here in portugal uh, this is corn growing in a really nice flat grow bed which is made with willow as sort of a fence a living fence with reeds that's woven into it and we're gonna do this as the water retreats here we're gonna make more grow beds and we're gonna do it there and there as well so you can imagine you can do several stages as the water retreats in drier moments 
you can plan behind the water and the opposite way as well when the water comes back you basically have to make sure you're out there with your crop so new things can go uh, and uh, yeah you can make another planning for what happens when it's when it's uh, more in the winter season um, these are pumpkins on this uh, plateau just planted looking good and then I'm going to try to show you the last bit of the property, the top land. We have here a, a wind fence made with the reeds here and here. And slowly you see the level difference here on the, on the land. There it is, you can see the sea in the end. Well, you can actually not see it at the moment, but it's a little bit behind that dark line of... A, there's a pine forest there at the coast. But there is a, a horizon sometimes you can see of the sea, not now. Um, right, so this is the spillway of the land we have over here. It's really nice flat piece of land. We will just go there in a minute. As I show you that this spillway also is very relevant to make this whole landscape passively absorbing the water rather than with a very high flow. This water is relatively clean but you see the difference between the lower overflow points and this point. So this is the first one we get. Has been a lot of um, things going on here recently so that's why the water is also a little bit troubled. But you can see a lot of uh, debris and uh, dirty things don't really go into this tubing because the tubing is vertically up and when well the water that's actually now running is just coming from the junction of this tube which is there horizontal and uh, standing up straight now this is very wet after the rain and we will do uh, tree lines here actually this will be a grow bed and there's going to be tree line here with six meter difference and then in the middle will be probably four 75 centimeter grow beds with 25 centimeter pathways in between for more market garden beds like I showed you in the beginning and the same here will happen as well and mulberry, quince, cape gooseberry on the edges here, on the lines we will grow, uh, is actually already planted, it's called sorghum or sudan grass and this will hopefully become a very nice biomass crop which we can chop and drop all the time as it's growing. Beautiful little plants but hopefully soon two meter tall, well before that I will have a cut at them already. So. The idea is that I will cut them several times. I've done this with uh, rye grass and also with um, uh, cevada, which is uh, another type of grass. I don't recall the name now. So we have a lot of organic matter here, which will be dropped on top of this property here, of this little piece of land. So we can create a really nice mulch layer, so we have less evaporation. All that water that has been stored in those ponds you have seen below will be uh, stored and is being stored in these tanks. The top tank is there, it's 2000 liters, which is full at the moment. And now and then we release some water into these tanks until they are full. And this will then help us go through the more dry periods in the summer now hopefully we have enough of course as a backup it's always a bit of a, a choice we have more water uh, from a well as well so we're gonna have to play between that before the ponds empty out we make sure that we have to refill this so it's gonna be interesting how we're gonna manage I want to try to use as less as possible from this reserve at the same time it would be nice to keep it flowing to not have still standing water so it's a bit of a a bit of a uh, how do you call it um, paradoxal because in 
in a, a nice syntropic farming system you don't really have water stored you store your water in your soils in your soils in your roots and in this case we are yeah feeling the need because we have had several dry summers to to have some backup to really irrigate these uh, more lush crops like lettuce or beetroots or anything that just needs to be irrigated more frequently rather than pumpkins for example which look you can see over here they probably will be able to manage and create a decent crop without us giving extra irrigation I hope uh, this gives you a good idea of what we are doing here at Lugar da Terra. Uh, Lugar da Terra means place of the earth. And this is the beginning of our project. Hopefully there comes a lot of new development soon. I'm going to give you updates as we go. There is more to see, more to discover, more to learn. And uh, we will learn as we go as well. I hope I can inform you more soon and I hope you enjoyed it so please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hope to see you somewhere later with your project and we keep you up to date bye bye